Hello, this is Ashley from Crafting with Ashley, and welcome to this video. This is the card I have to share with you today. It's a very modern style Christmas card, and you've got these three hanging baubles and says Merry Merry Christmas, and you've got all this little gold glimmer giving it a lot of bling. So as I can say, this style, this one was very modern, very not traditional, and I've used Titian Tide and Polished Pink are the colours. For the one I'm going to do today, I'm going to go more traditional. So we're going to be using real red and shade of spruce. These are my favourite red and green for Christmas. So stamp set we're going to use is this one called Spruced Up. And as you can see, we're going to see Merry Christmas and the bauble. But you've got all these other little bits. You've got to and from, these little stars, snowflakes, presents, trees, candy canes, all sorts of lovely images so I've got some scrap here of basic white and I'm going to stamp first in shaded spruce and I'm going to stamp two reds and one green so let's start off with my green just make sure it's properly inked up I tend to have more luck usually going with the ink pad to the stamp like that and just going to down and hold it. Yeah, that's fine. Give that a clean using my simple chamois here that I've got on the side. I've got ink everywhere as usual. Not unusual for me. And on me as well. Why not? So close up the sink pad and now we're going to stamp the red. Now to stamp the real red so down, hold there we go and one more time just like that. So I'm going to set that aside for a second to just try clean this up as best as I can. Okay. Don't worry your stamp looks pink. It's just because it's photopolymer and photopolymer does stain but it stamp is still perfectly fine. It doesn't do it any harm whatsoever. So let's take this off our stamp, a block rather, and I'm going to get a smaller block I think, because we're going to stamp our sentiment now, which is Merry Christmas, so another piece of basic white, and this time I'm going to stamp a memento, and I'll just stamp here at the bottom, Christmas, like that shouldn't have put my simple chamois away, I'm going to need it still. Okay, and then I'm going to take the word Merry and I'm going to look for, see if I've got a smaller block that will work. I tend to like to just use a block that's just the right size. I get less over stamping that way. So let's see. Let's think. That's a bit too small. Let's go for this one. I'll have to do. Try and put it on straight is always useful. Use your good paper to help you. Uh, yeah, it'll do. I'm going to cut it out anyway. And I'm going to st stamp this twice. Okay, so there we've got that. So that's all our stamp paint done and dusted. So let's clear the decks. And I'll show you the next bit. The dies I'm going to use is this die here called spruced up dies. I'm going to use this die here to cut out my ornaments. 
and then I'm also going to use these small little here these small little um, stars and this this little here this little um, pres ornament topper and I'm going to cut those out of this as you can see bits of this gold glimmer paper so I'm going to put all of that through the die cutting machine and I'll be back so I've cut out all my little pieces so they're all here bring them all in there's a ton of them and the sentiment I cut out freehand and then I just backed on some of the matching glimmer paper as well now you can see for the ornament here it actually cuts out the ornament and it cuts out the same die cuts out the little frame as well so you can use the both together if you if you wish or you could use just the frame you gives you lots of options I think it's really fun so let's start to make our card I've got here a piece of the black and white designer series paper and this measures 14.35 centimeters by 10 centimeters and initially I'm going to arrange my ornaments however I want them and I think this time we're going to go like that and then I want to cut some matching um, trim and this is the elegant trim just to for the ornaments to hang from so I don't need a lot so I'm just going to measure how much I need for each piece so a little bit like that for that one I need a long, longer piece here and more of a medium piece there okay keeps wanting to unwind but I keep it in the bag so at the end of that I can't do much so now I'm going to put just a little piece on the back here and I'm just going to secure it down with a bit of sellotape just like that and then I'm going to do the same with my medium one here okay so those are stuck down now so now we're going to just tuck up our pieces of string on the back and again I'm just going to secure this with a piece of tape what I'm going to do is I'm, as I'm taking it to the back is make sure that I keep everything taunt and straight and final piece of tape and then I'm just going to this piece has come undone because it doesn't want to stay for some reason so let's try again with this one it obviously doesn't like its new role in life now I'm just going to cut off the excess bits and there we've got our card so now I'm going to stick it down to our base which is real red so let me get some Tombow sure this is well stuck down and it's not gonna move so there we go okay so that's all we've got so far now I'm gonna bring in my other little bits here which are failing to want to move so I've got these little toppers as you can see for an ornament and last time I just stuck these down normally with some glue but this time I think I'm going to put a little baby dimensional mini dimensional on the back just so it all looks the same and I'm just going to tuck that on the top just like that so let's find the other one here 
and just sort of line it up like that. And you can tell me which you prefer, this traditional one or the more non-traditional one. Um, this is a good time to say that all the measurements and the supply list and everything is all on the blog post on my website. You'll find the link to that in the description box below. You'll also find below the all my social media links, including the link to my Facebook group, where I host a monthly online car club. So do um, check that out. Um, we get together, I set out the kits, and we get together once a month to craft together and have lots of crafty fun. So now I'm just going to put down some glue for my stars. Something wants to stick to me, obviously. So that's my stars. And then last but not least, we're going to stick down our sentiments. So I'm just going to use a little bit of... I keep wanting to say snail, but it isn't anymore. It's seal. Creatures have habits sometimes, and I can't shake the habit. <laughs> so, Christmas there. And then Merry there. And another one there. Okay, so we are done. There are the two cards. Which do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love you to know whether you like this more bottled one or the more traditional one. If you do like this video, I'd be grateful if you could give it a thumbs up so YouTube know. And please don't forget to subscribe to future videos. If you want more information about the project, as I said, you'll find all the links below. And that includes my blog post where you'll find all the measurements. So do check it all out. So thank you again and until next time, enjoy being creative. Bye.